What is up everyone, Movie Way, and back again with another video. Today is something just a little bit different. Uh, last night was the PlayStation 5 reveal, and I just really, really could not stop thinking about it all day, and I just wanted to put a video out there with my thoughts on it. Don't worry guys, this channel will remain 99.9% .9 movie related, and I'm hoping to have a few movie related videos coming out over the weekend, but I just wanted to talk about this because it's quite a big event, you know, it's a it's a big moment in the gaming industry, and I know a few of my subscribers are actually gamers, so I just thought, why not? You know, let, let's just put a video out there, see what happens. Let me know if you like this video, guys. If you don't like it, let me know, just so I know what you guys like my content to be. But I just haven't been able to stop thinking about it, like I said, and there's just a lot to talk about. Now, I really thought that we were just going to go into this with... The console reveal and maybe a couple of, you know, launch games that they might show. But we actually got about 20 odd games. And I just didn't expect it at all. It just caught me totally off guard. And I'm just going to get into it the way Sony did and talk about the games first. And then I'll just talk a little bit about the console. But they came out with three massive titles on the run here. It, I just didn't expect it at all. My friend John, who... We, we were tweeting before it and he said, oh, I hope we get a new Spider-Man. I thought, you know what? I totally forgot about Spider-Man. Um, Spider-Man 2 maybe, yeah? That'll be a good game. And lo and behold, the first game was Spider-Man Miles Morales. Yes, it's not a... It doesn't look like it's going to be playing Peter Parker in this one. It is Miles Morales, who was in the first game. And he started getting his powers and stuff towards the end of the game. But he's a big character now, I suppose. I know he's always had his own comics and stuff, but... With the Spider-Verse movies, you know, Into the Spider-Verse, and him appearing in this game, he's getting his own game, and it's just basically called Spider-Man Miles Morales, and I really, really can't wait for that. That is a fantastic game to start off on, and John, you were right, yeah? So, I can't wait for Spider-Man Miles Morales, I really can't, and it, that is just a big title that I am going to be buying day one, for sure. I love Spider-Man on the old, on the PlayStation 4, so... This is just a no-brainer for me. So, really strong start from Sony there. And then they just came out with Gran Turismo 7. And I was like, oh my god. And then he started talking about the campaign. Because the last one, Gran Turismo Sport, was mainly online-based. And it turned a lot of people off. Like, you had to be online all the time and stuff. But this really did say, oh no, there's a campaign. And it showed you the map and everything. Where you can go. And, you know, a first-person driving point. Uh, first person point of view on the track it just looked fantastic and I think they if they get this right this could really really you know be something special Forza is the Microsoft's one of their biggest you know franchises and it's flawless to be honest but PS Sony has a big chance here no they don't really have a massive driving simulator franchise at the minute and if they get this right, this could certainly rival Forza Motorsport. I'm not, or Forza Horizon. I'm not getting into a console war or anything here, guys. But I just think that if Sony get this right, this could be a big game changer for, you know, for people who like these racing games. And we also got after that, <laughs> my personal highlight of the show, I can't lie, a new Ratchet & Clank game, guys. And I loved Ratchet & Clank on the PS4. That was my first experience with experience with the franchise to be honest but you know it, this one looked really next gen it looked like it, it belongs on the ps5 where you know Sp spider-man might come out on the ps4 and the ps5 but this one really looks like it, it should be on the ps5 and it looks like it was trying something different where he's just jumping into different dimensions and stuff and the graphics on this game looked fantastic they looked really really next gen look really solid and it's just a brilliant platformer, Ratchet & Clank on the PS4. And this looks like it's more of the same gameplay with added features and updated graphics. And I just can't wait for that game. That is day one purchase for me. Them three games really, really sold the console for me straight away. But that wasn't all, guys. A bit further down the line, we actually got a game that call, called The Village. And then we t it turned out to be Resident Evil 8. Now, there were rumours of this you know, leaks of it that you were going to be playing Resident Evil 8 in the village and they were true by the look of it because the trailer looked exactly like the leaks. 
But the big thing that struck me about this game was that there are werewolves in this. So Capcom is really, you know, taking a risk there. But it's a brave risk that, and, a, and an exciting risk, I feel. Looks like it's first person, like uh, Resident Evil 7. So I can't wait for that game. Capcom are really knocking it out the park lately with the Resident Evil franchise. You know, we got the remake 2 and 3. And they were fantastic games. So I can't wait for this, you know. That is definitely another highlight of the show. And I also said to John when I was tweeting that they always finish off with a big game. Well, I know Nintendo do on the Directs. So I was expecting Sony to finish this off with a strong, massive game. And they did. Horizon Zero Dawn 2 is coming. And, you know, that, look, Horizon Zero Dawn is... A brilliant game it is. It's not one that I personally love as much as others, but it's still a game I'm definitely going to be checking out. And a lot of people, ex a lot of people's excitement for this game, you could just see online that they were losing their minds. So I'm happy for them people that they're getting that game. You know, a lot of people have been shouting for Horizon Zero Dawn 2 for quite a while now. I think it's called Forbidden Wilds actually, not Horizon Zero Dawn 2. And it looks like it takes place in more of a tropical climate this time. But it's still a, you know, I do like the first one. Not as much as others, but it's still a day one purchase for me. I'm definitely going to be picking that up. So it's just, they're five games, really strong games that Sony came out with there. But that wasn't all, you know. There was some other games on my radar that I might, you know, look out for. One of them was Sackboy's Adventure, which looks like a, a platformer. It's not a, like, doesn't look like a little big planet game where you make your own levels. It just looks like a platform and adventure game involving Sackboy. I might be wrong there, but I'm just going from what I've seen. And that, you know, that could be high on my radar. I love platforming games, as, as you know, with Ratchet and Clank. So this could be good. I'm glad Sony are bringing more platform games to the system. We also got another Oddworld game, which looks interesting. You know, I haven't played Abe's Oddworld since the PlayStation 1. I haven't gone back to... You know, the remake for the PS4 or anything. But that could be interesting, you know. Uh, it's on my radar. We also got Hitman 3. A lot of people are excited for that. I haven't played Hitman for a while, but, you know, this one does look very interesting. And, and they were just prone games left, right and centre. And that's a big IP, Hitman. You know, it's, it's, it's a big game. It's a big franchise. And, you know, oh yeah, I well, know we've given you all these games, but have some Hitman 3 as well. It was just... I couldn't believe what I was seeing at times, guys. We also got another game called Godfall, which looks quite interesting. You know, I think Sony, they revealed this like a teaser about a month ago. And it looks like they might be pushing this game to be a bit more of a success than people anticipate. I think this could be a big game, actually. So my eyes are definitely on that one. Demon Souls look very interesting. You know, I don't know if that's a remaster or a remake of the other Demon Souls. I'm not quite sure, but it looked brilliant from the trailer. And another one we got was Deathloop, which interested me. I don't quite know the whole premise of that game, but it looks like a very fast-paced first-person shooter. Kind of looks a bit like Dishonored. You know, I think it's from the same people. So that looks interesting. You know, they're some of the games that are on my radar that Sony revealed here. And I just want to say before I get onto the console, I really, <laughs> my expectations just went straight away and then straight back down. When I seen that Rockstar logo before we even got into anything, I was like, oh my God, it's GTA 6. But no, it wasn't to be. GTA 5 is coming to the PlayStation 5, a game that came out on the 360 and the PlayStation 3. Then the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, and now it's coming to a new generation. So I think that is the biggest selling piece of software ever. More than any movie, more than any album, it's made more money than anything. So you can sort of understand Rockstar, the way they're doing that. But I don't know. I, I really want GTA 6 soon. I really hope we get that announcement in the next year or so. Because GTA 5, it's been a while. You know, it, it's a brilliant game, GTA 5, but... We need GTA 6 soon, I think. But getting onto the console, guys. I, the look of this console. Look, I'm not being funny or not. And it could just look like a, a brick for all I care. It's only the console. I'm not going to be looking at that when I'm playing the game. I'm just going to be playing the game, obviously. But 
it does look a little bit strange, kind of like a broadband router. <laughs> but I don't hate it, I don't love it. It's just mixed feelings, really. It looks a little strange. I will definitely... They came out with two versions, a disc-based console and a digital-based console, but I will definitely be getting the disc-based version. I'm a physical collector, and, you know, I, I, don't, I don't hate digital. I don't really like streaming games because they go off streaming services but at least if you own, buy it digital you own the game but i'd definitely just rather have the disc and the case and all that to go on my shelf i just prefer it digital games always seem to be very highly priced compared to physical games in the shop as well for some reason i just don't know why but um it looks like they showed it vertical so you have to stand it up but then they showed a few other images of it lying down, horizontal. And I've read a few articles where it does actually state that you can lie this console down. Because I was looking at my TV cabinet thinking, where the hell is this going to go? Because I'd rather just put it in the slots. But you can lie it down, guys. I don't think you need to worry about that. And they throw, showed a few accessories, you know, the remote and stuff like that, you know. So... I'm very excited for the PlayStation 5, guys. I just wanted to make this video to get my thoughts out there and show my highlights of the show. And I will probably be buying this day one. They didn't release any prices, though, or the release date. I think it's going to be 2020, because I think it said some of the games are coming 2020. But it would have been nice to get a release date and a price, really. But even if this console is 500 I'm probably still going to buy it, you know. I don't think it'll be that much. I think it'll be around the 450 mark, but there are rumours that it might be 599. But, you know, sometimes rumours just aren't all true, are they? That's why they're called rumours. So, guys, there are my thoughts on the PlayStation 5. So, yeah, the personal highlights, definitely Ratchet and Clank and Spider-Man for sure. Okay, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you want more videos... It's up to yourself. The subscribe button is under there. If you want to comment about the PlayStation 5 or any of the games, let me know. I will get back to you all. I promise. I will reply to every single one of you. Take it all easy, guys. And I'll see you all in the next video.